Hey my beautiful shining stars, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a treat for you. I am going to be giving you a Lorac Beauty and the Beast collection, like the makeup collection review. They hooked me up and they sent me the collection for free. So I decided, hey, why not do a review? And so that's what I'm doing for you today. If you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to be a part of our beautiful shining star family. And you could hit the notification bell to see more of this. I recently did a Beauty and the Beast makeup tutorial and a DIY Enchanted Rose, so you guys could check that out. So without further ado, let's get this review started right. Let's start with the packaging. Now I am a big aesthetics girl. I like things that grab my attention. I know it doesn't matter to a lot of people, but I like packaging and I like when it looks really cool and awesome and interesting and interesting, and interesting. Um, so this was a little bit, yeah, it's I. Right, you know, it's very simple, it's like a shiny metallic. I mean, compared to the Pirates of the Caribbean palette, and even like Sephora when they came out with the Disney Princess uh, makeup palette lines, and I think they did Cinderella, Ariel, and Jasmine. So like, this was kind of like meh, meh, meh. It is, it is pretty, but not like wow. Wow. I do like the fact that they have what comes inside on the outside, so you get to see all the different colors. So you open it up, and they have the same rose that's on the outer packaging on the pellet itself, and it says, tale as old as time. And it has this little clasp here, and it's like a book, which is kind of cool, because, you know, bells into books. I do like the inside. I think it makes up for the outside with the mirror here. Even though this is completely flat, it's kind of like an optical illusion, but I do like the enchanted looking mirror. And it says, love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. And then it has this little red ribbon, like a bookmark. And then on the other side, it says, true beauty is found within, which is, that is like my favorite thing about Beauty and the Beast. It talks about, it's not on the outside, but truly what is on the inside that counts. And here are the shadows. There are four rows of four and a beautiful double side golden brush. Here are their lipsticks. There are five different shades. And I must say this about Lorac is their lipsticks smell so good to me. They smell like cupcakes or something. I love them. The actual lipstick case is beautiful. The cap is decorated with metallic roses. It's really pretty. And there's also on the bottom where it shows the color of the lipsticks, roses as well. I like it. This is the red one. Red rose. It's beautiful. This is red rose. Yeah, that's what it's called. What are the chances? This is the packaging for their cheek palette. It also has the rose on it and there are five different shades. The casing for this really reminds me of Emma Watson's dress in the movie, kind of when the wardrobe says it needs a finishing touch and like the gold from the ceiling um, it, like lays down on her dress. So it says Beauty and the Beast on it. There's a little plastic covering with little roses on it that goes over each of the shades. It has feathers etched on each side of the mirror and it reminds me of the feather duster. Oh my goodness, that woman, when she goes through the transformation at the end and she comes out human, she is stunning. She was so beautiful. And it also says she was fearless on the mirror, which I like that because Belle was definitely courageous. And they also sent me the lip gloss, cause the lip gloss is popping. The lip gloss is cute. Also comes in a set of five. I really like the design on the casing for these as well. Just very elegant with the roses. Again, maybe the palette wasn't as stand out on the outside, but real beauty comes from within. And I do like the inside of that one. And I do like the designs on these as well. All right, let's swatch these suckers. All right, so I'm just gonna start with this top row here. I'm just gonna dive one in. Taking this first shadow, Dream It. Swatch it across here. This consistency is very nice and smooth. I like the shine on that. And then the second one we have is Timekeeper. And this one's more of a taupe color. This one also has a shine to it. I like it. Next, we have Be Our Guest, and this one seems a little bit more matte. I really love how soft these shadows feel. And the last on this roll is Empress. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I like it, I like it a lot. On to the second row. Oh yes, this one's called Beast Mode. Clever name. Very beautiful, deep blue color. Next is Enchanting. 
This is a nice, pretty kind of gold champagne color. This one is swept up and it is like, again, that gorgeous feather duster in the movie. She's just beautiful. Oh, I like it a lot. It has a multi-colored glitter within it. And the last one for this row is Look Beyond. It's very hard to show up on my skin. But man, that swept away though. Third row, we're starting off with My Castle. Oh, I like that one too. This one's like a brownish, metallic, copper color. And this one's chip in after the adorable teacup. <gasps> oh, that's nice. I really like this one too. Romance. This is one of my faves again. This is like a brick shadow. Love it. And Spellbreaker. This is a matte brown and it has little specks of gold on it. And I actually use Romance and Spellbreaker to create my eye look that I have on. Next, just wanna give a little shout out. This Urban Decay Mount Down Makeup Remover is giving me life right now. It works perfectly for removing the swatches. Just a little shout out there. For the last row, we have Inner Beauty, which is a nice dusty pink shadow. Mmm, that's nice. Then we have Tea Time. It's a shimmery, kind of a silvery gray shadow. And then we have Tick Tock. Whoa, these colors are absolutely beautiful. I really like this palette, you guys. And last but not least, Real You. Oh, these are stunning. This last row is so romantic, you guys. This, this whole entire palette, I have to say, is very gorgeous. Now moving on to the cheek palette, you can see the little roses there. Starting off with rose. This is a really nice peachy pink blush with a bit of shimmer to it. Next we have Enchanted. It's more, oh, it still comes off though. This is more of a lighter matte peachy color. On to Fearless. This one's more shimmery, it's kind of like a bronzy gold. Oh, very nice. And last we have Sea Beyond. And I use these two for my cheeks. This one's really pretty pink. Very gorgeous, I love the color payoff on both of the palettes, very nice. On to the lipsticks, I super love the casing for these, you guys, very beautiful. This first one is Savoir Faire, like a nudie peach color. Again, I love the smell of these. Pardon my French, this is Trace Chic. Oh, I like it, pretty brown. This one is Believe, like Bell and then Leave, Believe. <laughs> I feel like the lipstick's a little bit loose in there. And this one is Red Rose, that classic rose, Beauty and the Beast. It's more of a poppin' red. And last but not least, we have True Beauty. This is the one that I actually have on and it is kind of like a nudish pink. Wow, these lipsticks are pretty. I'd have to say that these Three are my favorite. Boom, 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 boom. And finally, the lip glosses. These are actually the same colors of the lipstick. So this is Savoir Faire. I can see that the lip gloss is a little bit more translucent. Next, we have Trace Chic. So yeah, these are pretty much the same colors as the lipstick. It's just a lot sheer. Sheer. Belly. Red Rose and True Beauty. Yeah, so these are just for a little bit of an added shine, or if you're a lip gloss person, then you could go for the lipsticks, but if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely go with the lipsticks. I'm more of a lipstick person. If you're more of a lip gloss person, then you would love these. And that is it for my Beauty and the Beast makeup collection review. I hope you guys enjoyed. For those of you guys who want to get your hands on it, I believe you could get it off of their website and at Ulta, but it is limited edition. So you gotta strike while the iron is hot. If you are wondering where I got this awesome Beauty and the Beast inspired tea, it is from my friend Tracy Hines. She has an amazing apparel line called Adorkable Apparel. All things Disney and fantasy and magical. It's awesome, check it out. Let me know what videos you wanna see next in the comment section below. And until next time, remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Mwah!